Self-destruct sequence activated. Three, two, one. Hello, YouTube. It has taken six or seven days, very sleepless nights, and several researchers, not just among the planetxresearch.org community, but tips and researchers all over the world and all over YouTube. The NICT server, after the March 12th apparent reversal of our magnetopause, has a data discrepancy. The data was there because several YouTube um, publishers um, caught pieces of the action. You go back and try to find that data now and it is no longer there. But after a lot of hard work, we've been able to stitch together and better understand what might have happened. This is an ongoing research investigation. This is, um, we feel that this might be a little early to put the data out. I'll play a snid bit in case uh, some of you aren't familiar with what we're talking about. On March 12th, we had a solar storm. Watch what our magnetopause did. Pause this. Do you see this bow? Shield, sheath, whatever you want to call it. The circle in the middle. That represents Earth. That's the size of the Earth. This is the magnetopause. This is the extent of our shield, our magnetic field that protects us from interstellar radiation, uh, from the solar wind, solar radiation, all kind of things, okay? It's unprecedented to see this on the other side. Um, at, at the time, the uh, plasma, the ionosphere, was heated up to, at the last measurement, 8.3 million degrees Kelvin. During the storm, the solar wind speeds exceeded 800 kilometers a second. Uh, during a good day, ambient solar wind is around anywhere from 350 to 450 kilometers per second and a good average ambient uh, ionospheric uh, temperature of the ionosphere is about 1 to 2 uh, million Kelvin. Um, so what happened on the 12th? Was it something from the Sun? Did something shut down in Earth's core for a few hours? Was Earth hit something from the back? Not solar related. These are all questions that we are trying to answer. Um, NASA would have you believe that all of this is a common occurrence and was caused by the solar storm. Well, there's a lot of us out here that don't quite agree with that and uh, for obvious reasons. Um, I'll play a little bit of more of this before we get into the, recon <clears throat> the reconstructed data. Um, excuse me if, if my voice sounds a bit weak. It's 4.30 a.m. Many of us have been researching this day and night, and to be honest, we're all about exhausted, but we're exhilarated at the same time. See this flip again? This should not happen. It is not normal. Let me rewind this a second. I'm going to piece all this together in the rest of this video. 
this is the night side of the earth this white part of the circle is the sun facing side of the earth we were ha we were in the middle of a solar storm the solar wind was going from right to left the bow sheath shield whatever you want to call it uh, um, representing our magnetopause and it's showing where our magnetosphere and the solar wind are interacting um, it should not be on the back side of the planet and in some of the images it even suggests that uh, the field may may have been so weak during this event it is really a miracle and it's amazing that we are still here to talk about it uh, besides losing a few satellites I know there was a Russian satellite lost um, we're still looking in to see uh, if any other uh, if there were any other consequences but so far we haven't heard uh, of any power outages major ground currents um, but that's stuff we are still going to look into we are having really strange weather I don't know about the rest of the world but the United States is experiencing very strange weather as if we haven't had enough strange we uh, weather all winter already but uh, that's just a brief overview and I'm going to get on to the reconstruction of this magnetopause simulation which is no longer available um, another view of the magnetosphere from an alternative source that illustrates again what happened March 12th into March 13th and then uh, we're going to go even deeper and uh, I hope this is useful to the research community out there that's uh, trying to find the answers and the truth to what might have happened on the 12th enjoy the data feel free to share this and mirror it and pass it along to your other fellow researchers and please comment if you have any ideas or any tips or research hints um, etc now without further ado let's get on with the uh, reconstruction